Pork pork. So the way I'm actually playing uh, a paladin uh, is that a protection paladin is that I actually use a, a macro uh, that I got from um, uh, Scott DJ on YouTube. He's playing a uh, paladin a lot. Uh, let me see if I can find the actual macro. It is no, it's here. Here it is. It's actually a sequence macro. Uh, I'm gonna link it to you as well. So it's like it's like a one button macro on your rotation. The only thing that isn't there is Avenger shields and your cooldowns. But like Hammer of Righteous, uh, Judgment, Shield of Righteous, and Consecrate, they they are they are there, and they're just it's just rotating through them. Um, and ideally, you just want to keep uh, the uh, Seal of Command up, so just to do AOE damage more. And then I like, because, let me, let me show you. I'm going to put it there just for a cause. Okay. I'm only going to use one finger, and you will see the rotation. I'm actually going to show it to you by switching the cam. So if I start pressing this, you will see. Now it's, uh, oh, and the Holy Shield. And consecrate, shield, judgment, hammer righteous, holy shield, righteous, consecrate, righteous, judgment. So it's just the same. And like I got the idea from him, and um, if you have, if you don't follow him, he is like a, in my opinion, one of the best. Um, Wrath of the Lich King uh, creators, so highly recommend following you. I can link it to you. But the thing is, the like I've taken that and taking like and take it. I've I've taken it one step further, and I've actually paired it with um, this ability over here. Where is it? Here, righteous defense, which is that like the paladins three. Uh, three uh, enemy taunt thingy and the way I'm actually playing it is that I've key binded this macro which is uh, the the uh, righteous defense macro uh, ability paired with my trinket because like I don't really care about using trinket efficiently it's like it's it's speeding through it anyway so fast so it just Use it is uses it on cooldown, and I've used the iron boot flask just for fun. But like basically, like I'm gonna show you in a dungeon, and of course, it like you need what the fuck is going on? I can see outside. Lol. Uh, so let's queue up, and I'm uh, like I don't really. Care. Okay, let's let's do a gamma. I don't really care. I'm gonna leave anyway. Um, just gonna try this. So we enter. And I keybinded it to scroll up and down. So it's over here. So, and, and the only thing I'm doing is using cooldowns and keeping the uh, Divine Plea up. And then I just switch targets, like tabbing between them. And if I lose aggro, and that like, or I have someone is, who is a bit away and stuff like that. I save my divine shield, hey, Avenger shield, only for casters, pretty much. Because it will silence them. I think it's a glyph for it. Or is it? No, okay, it's a talent. So then you silence them, which makes them silent. They're going to have to run towards you and be in the AoE. And other than that, like, use your taunts. I actually use Hand of Reckoning on Taunt, uh, on, on Pull, because it actually deals the damage. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit <sighs> nose runny. But I, I'm going to show you this. It's it's so easy. Like, sure, you need the gear, of course, and like a, a bit of like... But doing this, I can be more active and focus. Like, what's up with the Q today? Like, I'm, I can focus more on... Um, like packs where they are on my cooldowns, I can actually uh, have a better un 
understanding of like if I need to use hand of sacrifice on someone, or like the healers and stuff. And then all like sacred shield all always on. Okay, this will be fairly easy. And then you use pally power, of course, because then you just need to press one button whenever you're buffing. So let's see here. And I just press. Okay, it's a bit weird. Oh, okay. Auto sign. Okay, okay. There, you just press this thing here and you buff automatically. And then I switch to this one, I guess. Okay, so here we go. And then I always have a flask with me. Use this one, make sure you have righteous on, and then we go. And you will see, this is so easy. Well, I actually can use some pull as well. So now I'm just scrolling up and down, up and down, nothing else. And I can tap, so I attack the other one. It's the only thing I do, because if they, if I lose aggro, or if they are close at getting aggro from me, they uh, this ability, Righteous Defense, is actually going to proc. So I, like, it's like a taunt. But like it, I wouldn't recommend uh, using uh, uh, the <laughs> Righteous Defense in raids, of course. But other than that, like, if you're doing finance, like, the only thing I'm doing... Okay, so taunt. And then I just do it a bit more efficiently. I can use cooldowns and stuff like that. It's it's so easy. Because now that I don't have to like care about my rotation, I can focus on more on like, okay, so in this Gemma, for example, they're uh, webbing people. It, it's so easy because then you can like, okay, he's webbed and I can like throw Avenger shield at it or yeah, stuff like that. But like I, I highly recommend you if you're actually gonna do this. And I have a tiny threat, but I, I, I guess I, yeah. My damage is kind of insane. I actually forgot the buff. I just realized I will actually do more damage. Like that—that's the thing though. Also, I actually don't even have the thorns buff on me. I just realized that from the Gemma dungeon, which will make me like it will be easier to keep aggro. But yeah, like basically, this this is what I do. It, it's it's so like shit easy. It's mental, pretty much. Like the only thing I do is that. Let me start the music. Like I I can record a whole full run if you want to. Um, just cause. Then I just do this. I like I. The the macro is like using itself by the own, by by its own like this is the only thing i'm doing nothing else it, it it's so easy and then i can manage cooldowns and stuff and like watch out and yeah it, it's it's just autopilot because once you have the gear um I, I should actually do and buy some DPS gear, uh, trinkets instead because it would be even easier to keep aggro because like everyone is so overgeared anyway. But yeah, it, it, it's it's just it's just stupid how easy it is. Now, for example, like just target it, like. I didn't even taunt. I didn't use the Hand of Reckoning there. It was actually the Righteous Defense that procced. So, like, it's it's so crazy, crazy easy. But I should probably get the um, Strength Trinket and the Critical Strike um, Trinket. Just to keep the threat even higher. Because, like, I don't, I rarely take any damage anyway. Let's take the tank drink the this thing. Let me just do it. Like, r like it usually, this goes way way faster. Then I can do like this, and then I can look people up. For example, like I'm just standing here. I'm like, okay, five point one, five point. 
Okay, yeah, decent group, I guess. And then, of course, Holy Wrath is, is uh, also a cooldown that you manually have to use. But just like the 9... Yeah, like 8 seconds thingy. 6-8, six, six, those uh, rotations. It, it's, it's so easy. Well, someone died, but well, you get the point. Usually, we zoom through this way faster than this. And then I just, yeah, press greed. And if I win something, I just disenchant it. I should actually, hopefully I get one, I, then I can show you what I actually do with it. Because, it, like, it, it, oh, see, see, okay, I'm just gonna leave this group just to show you what I do. Okay, so let's go back to Dalaran. Stupid thingy. There we go. So I'm, I'm gonna show you what I buy. And uh, if you want, at the later point, I could show you how to... Uh, set up a trade skill master, which will make it so whenever you, I don't even, I don't know if you have it, but if you uh, walk up to a auctioneer, you can just talk, speak you know, like push the trade skill master, and it will set the price on its own, and then you just could scroll and like mass post everything without even thinking. And let me show you what I buy because, uh, for example, from that boss, we got like from one boss. Didn't I get it? Oh, there it is. You get okay, so this is even more insane. And uh, you get Defiler's Scorch Stones, which is this vendor over here, or if you're a horde, you will find it. Uh, 12 of them gives. Uh, one Serenite, which is 820. It's it's usually around a thousand on this server, and I just buy that now. I, I probably should get like, uh, where is it? This one, just for threat, 450, and then also get, uh, where is it? This one, which will make give me a lot of critical strike rating, which will. Well, just cleave faster rather than this one and this one for survival because I don't really need that. I'd rather have the, the threat. But uh, okay, so from those, I buy the Serenite. And then from the Emblems of Triumph, I buy this Crusader Orb, which goes for. So you need 15, and like you get those simultaneously. And then I buy. Uh, these you could if you want to probably like downgrade the gems and buy the I think it, yeah the bracers and stuff and you like I sometimes depending on the price on the cloaks from this vendor I actually buy them but at the moment it feels like 38 like you can do a calculation like with math like how much you approximately how much gold one defiler scorch stone would give you? So let's let's say for example this shrink this cloak. Let's take the more expensive one. Okay, so four 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 five zero, oh, which is the minimal minimum min buyout divided by thirty, which is a hundred and forty eight gold for uh, per. Defiler Scorch Stone. But if you buy one of these and it is 820 divided by 12. Okay, so at the moment it would be more worth buying the cloak. But keep, bear in mind it takes longer time to sell them and it, it's only a 245 item level. So I, I would rather buy the Primordial Serenite for faster sales. And if you can, try to find a like a buyer or something like this one, for example. Like it, it depends on the price that they're willing to give. But try to find one 
that is ready to pay you for it. Then you can just cut it through the mail and be done with it. And they like they're online all the time, most of them. Because they they like sure if you have more professions you can use it. Like um for example you can buy them out and then you can find a blacksmith for example in my case and let's see here legs for example you need eight of them to create pillar of might which is uh, almost 12k gold but bear, like this is this 14 for the dps one but the thing is it it gonna take a longer time to sell and a lot of people might actually starting to take a break pretty soon because of cataclysm and also because of um classic plus so yeah i would rather buy the primordial serenite and then you can uh, from the last boss you will start getting where are they well i right, i've used him uh you can get the frozen orb which i also use uh, at this gnome over here on this carpet and then you can check out which one is the more most expensive for example like if i win one frozen orb right now it sells for 28 but if i buy one of these well okay it depends on the price and stuff like that but yeah you, you can use it on a lot of stuff sometimes like these are way up so you will you could sell them like that but then you also 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 if you have winter grasp you will get this stone keeper shard which you can use um at the there's a vendor there where you can use your stone keeper shard for honor then you can uh, get the honor And I'm actually gonna run there. Well, okay, it's in Stormwind in the. Where is it? It's. Uh, oh, it is. Oh, yeah, Old Town, where the, uh, there is this PvP thing. You can buy epic gems, like the uncut versions. So, like, if you're doing this while you're gearing up and you need the epic versions, or like, let's say you need this one, the Guardian, uh, the Dreadstone, you can buy them for, for it, uh, either. 20k or 10k depending on the gem and like instead of buying it then you just need to find a cutter and you can pay him like 10 gold fee or if you're uh, your crafter which i'm gonna i'm gonna ditch um sm uh, mining because i hate mining it's boring and i can actually be a yule crafter then i can make them on my own so i can like sell the gems either uncut or cut so that's basically what i'm doing and of course i forgot to show you i used uh, i got enchanting so let's say i got these two items i'm disenchanting them for the abyssal crystal which is 33 gold but if we if you're ma uh, i think you need to be 445 there is this thing called abyss sh abyssal shatter which takes one and breaks them into either greater cosmic essence or infinite dust. So let's now, okay, here we go. I press this and here we go. And and let's say I need, well, like, okay. Well, I don't actually have any of these. I sold three. I have none, none at the moment. For example, this one, I have five on the auction house on my disco pastor alt bank thingy but let's say i want to craft two of these i have the vellums which you can put the enchant on and just craft vellum this is why i love t uh, trade skill master and then you i can create another one can fuck it doesn't work well sometimes uh, this it's a bit weird well okay let's take this one for example because i didn't have any one of those so that's 30 uh, 72 gold sometimes like sure you might get more of selling an abyssal crystal of course sometimes i do that as well because like i have 
uh, I try to have at least five of each of the enchants that is relevant and they're actually like expensive so I can make money and then I just make these I can show you what I do with it I send it to my bank alt so let's press like that send let me let me change to my my bank alt and since I'm a macro nerd this is what I do I play this is funny before I, I've I I've been teaching some people how to do this, but m most people don't actually know this. You can only do this uh, over here, I think, because we're so close, because on the other side of this wall is the actual auctioneer. But you don't need to run out run out there. So my bank alt is just here. So if I scroll up, I target the auctioneer, and then if I scroll down, I actually interact with it. So, and I have the mailbox over here. So let's say, okay, I've actually sold a little bit. I sold a primordial serenite. So I can soon buy another token. But then I just scroll and then we go TSM and we go auctioneer run post scan and it will find them. And then I scroll post done. I posted it. So an auction house value right now is 3K, which is not much, but like I'm constantly selling. And that's what I do with it. So try it out. Be a, like you can, you don't have to be a paladin, but it's very easy with the uh, righteous defense. But yeah, Bork.